Yeah. Just made it. Eastbound, NS. Good. Made it. over there. You almost missed it, huh? detector on here. Come on. Detector, mile post. There you go. One, five, two, point, nine. No defect. Total axle, three, zero, nine. Detector out.
Hi. details tonight about a train accident we first told you during our four o'clock newscast. Take a look from our CBS Atlanta Sky Eye. You can see the accident total that red car. It all happened this afternoon where Highway 92 and Mosley Road cross over train tracks in Douglasville. CBS Atlanta Steve Kiggins joins us from the train crossing tonight. Steve, is this accident an isolated event? You know, Stephanie, it's really not. And the driver of that vehicle was thankfully able to get out of her car with plenty of time to spare before that train came along. Now, the problem may be the way that the asphalt was laid. There's about a six inch drop between the surface of the road and the railroad ties and neighbors here say cars get stuck there a lot. It was just like a boom, you know, screeching. And then when it went down the tracks with it, it was awful. Beverly Woods and her husband Robert had a front row seat to this wreck of an afternoon. She's an elderly lady, you know, she, you know, ain't judging her distance right. Uh, and But that's what happened. She ran off too far over here and she got stuck. From CBS Atlanta Sky Eye, you can see what's left of this car after an oncoming train smashed into it. The locomotive pushed the vehicle 1,000 feet before finally stopping. The driver was able to get out of the car before the collision. The neighbors say cars get stuck on the tracks all too often. We've been having truckers get stuck out here, uh, vehicles getting stuck on the tracks. Um, I've helped quite a few, maybe four or five people get off the tracks. Broad Street and Mosley Road is Douglasville's most accident prone railroad crossing. Apart from several collisions in the past year, there have been 22 documented incidents of cars getting stuck on the tracks. Norfolk Southern repaved the crossing, but left a considerable drop off instead of a tapering slope. GDOT restriped the road, but Woods doesn't think that's enough to keep drivers on the road. No matter how much work they do, I think it's just people not aware of the, how far to turn. Beverly would rather see the crossing shut down before someone gets seriously hurt. I think they should close it up. If I was to see somebody get killed, I'd probably die myself. Now, we are still waiting to hear back from Norfolk Southern to see if they have any plans to make improvements at this crossing to try and minimize collisions. We are live in Douglasville. Steve Kiggins, CBS Atlanta News.